This is CBC News Morning. This is our top story. Just how accommodating are Quebecers when it comes to ethnic minorities? We're about to find out. In just a matter of hours, the Bouchard Taylor Commission's report on the reasonable accommodation of minorities in the province will be released. It's been in the works for a year already. Quebec Premier Jean Charest is promising to act quickly on its recommendations, promising an action plan once he finds out exactly what's in the report. Now, the Bouchard Taylor Commission rose in part from the whole issue of how Muslims were being treated in one Quebec town, the town in, of Erouville, as Amanda Pfeffer was showing us, as captured in Aislinn's cartoon today in the Gazette. We want to hear from a member of Quebec's Muslim community on this in advance of the report. Samir Majoub is with the Muslim Association of Canada and my guest. Nice to see you this morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning for you. You don't have long to wait now, just a matter of hours until we get the report and find out its entire contents. But what are you most interested in reading? Uh, actually, we are uh, so looking forward to, uh, to see the recommendations of this report. And what in particular? What kind of guidance? What are, what are you looking for? Maybe what are you expecting? Uh, what we're expecting actually to reflect the reality of Quebec society as an open, tolerant and uh, hospitable society. That's what is our expectation. You're hoping to see that, but based on what we know, as you know, Mr. Majoub, from the, the leaked portions of the report, uh, what we've seen so far is a little bit of a advice, maybe even criticism of, of Quebec in terms of it needs to be more open, to open its doors to immigrants and ethnic minorities, to be open in the mind to minorities, to speak more English. What do you make of what we know so far of this? Actually, we're waiting and we would like to be a bit more patient for a couple of hours to get all the information in regard to the, to the report and its recommendation. And uh, we are not here to point, point and to say it is the blame of Quebecers or non-Quebecers. We are all Quebecers. We are all uh, members of this society. And uh, we would like uh, to have really peace, harmony and full understanding of each other to, 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 to have a more constructive Quebec. A more constructive. In what way more constructive? A more constructive in, uh, in the understanding, in the understanding of each other. We have really to accept the fact that the Quebec society is, uh, is a mosaic of cultures. And this does not mean there is contradictions. There is a mosaic of cultures. Uh, we do not have to impose on each other our values, our beliefs. But we really have to respect each other. Okay. What do you think... It's hard to predict, I guess, because we don't know exactly what's in this report. But what do you think its impact is going to be? Uh, I believe on the long run and on the mid uh, uh, long run, it will be very positive. Uh, the fact that Mr. Bouchard and Mr. Taylor had the chance to uh, have this hearing for one year, to listen to the to many to many segments of the of the society, I'm sure this report will reflect those segments. And I'm sure uh, if the government has the political will, has the strong leadership, uh, political strong leadership, it should work fast, quickly on those recommendations to be applicable to be applied and to really uh, maintain peace and harmony in the Quebec society. And when you say that's your hope for the long term, uh, that makes me wonder if you have concerns perhaps about what the impact may be in the short term. Do you think there may be any sort of negative uh, backlash? Uh, th there, might, there might be some elements who might have some uh, prejudice reaction and this is very normal in every society mm -hmm. and uh, we should not really say that it is exceptional for a Quebec society. It does exist in every society that there are some vocal element, extremist element that might be screaming and on, uh, against this uh, recommendation if the leaking was correct and true. But still I believe that the majority of Quebecers are more receptive, more open-minded and they will accept this and we will work together on this to be uh, implemented for the sake of uh, an open-minded Quebec. And, and how important is it to entrench the notion of an open-minded Quebec? You know, some people have suggested a whole new constitution for the province, writing of the, value of the values of Quebecers. The Premier said no to that at this point. But, you know, just how, how far should, should we go along that line in terms of entrenching whatever's in this report? 
uh, let's put it this way, we cannot doctrine values and beliefs. Values and beliefs comes from the one's uh, heart, one's uh, uh, conviction. We cannot go and write values and beliefs in constitutions and impose it on people. People have the right to choose. It is a mosaic society. It is a society that consists of multiculturalism. We have to accept this. We have to respect it. And in this, it does not mean in any way that the, the heritage and the tradition of Quebec has not to be respected. It's quite the opposite. The heritage of Quebec, the tradition of Quebec has to be respected and this is, has to be understood by everyone. But is, as saying that, this does not mean on, on the other side that other minorities have to really get rid of their beliefs or get rid of their convictions under the, the, under the banner of that we, we are the majority and you have to really guys listen to us. Mr. Majoub, thank you. I appreciate your joining us. I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time. We'll have more live on the release of that report. CBC News World with special live coverage planned for you at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And there's more ahead, too, right here on CBC News Morning, coming up.